in this video we will create the specular map let's create a new channel call it specular And once again, let's merge our diffuse layers and flatten into one layer so it's easier to work this way. And rename it to texture base. And once again, uh, let's add the luminosity and the uh, contrast layers so we can work on the grayish image and I like to work uh, with 16-bit uh, maps for the specular and so let's create by clicking here and setting to 16-bit and convert let's set the color space to scholar and I explained this in the previous videos so if you didn't you didn't watch it please do so and we will see why I like to work this way now I'm going to tweak the contrast layer I'll try to darken the image a little bit and bring up some texture details Okay, that's a good start base to start and let's mask out the layer, contrast layer. Paint with the slow flow brush. And slowly erasing the contrast layer in those dark areas. Bringing in some more details from the texture. work on the eyes, and the nose and the eyebrows and let's bake out and work on the mouth area Okay, so cleaning the lips, revealing the details, and always check for the, the black areas. Uh, it's always a good idea to not have totally black areas, and you always want to have some detail either total black or totally white areas are not desirable so watch out for those spots the more information and more the contrast between dark and lights the better your image will be clear, clear some areas Every time you have some issues like this, you can uh, 
switch the colors between black and white to smooth out the mask so paint a, paint a little bit switch the color paint a little bit switch the color and to have something more homogeneous and remember the X key shortcut to switch between background and foreground colors and this is the fastest workaround I came up with to fix this small little issues Let's add a little bit more light to the lips. And you can see some dark and white spots around the mouth and on the nose and on the forehead. These are light information that come from the texture image. It's uh, we have to even out the image. So you want to have small contrasty spots, but not large ones like this. So it's always a, bad, it's a good idea to try and even out your image. And pay attention to the eyebrows. You have to erase some some of the contrast to uh, reveal the hair information. Now work on the ears. It's easier to do on the auto UV view because uh, the, the complexity of the geometry makes it difficult to reach some spots. So the UV view are better for this. And I like to stay on the 0.5 luminance value for most of my map, my specular map. And of course, you have uh, highs and lows, but the average should be around 0.5, so you don't have a too bright or too dark specular map. And now that we have a base specular layer, let's add another one and try and push some of the some of the information on top of that. Okay. 
so I start brightening the lips there is a generally a wet region on the face I have some saliva and stuff it tends to be more bright than than around the mouth itself and now working on the nose nose, lips, cheek and forehead tends to be uh, more bright because the skin is more oily skin so let's brighten a little bit the cheek Trying some transfer modes. This spot on the ear, it's anti helix, tends to be a little brighter too. And again, inside the lower eyelid, tends to to be brighter because it's a wet region that lubricates the eyes. In my opinion, after Diffuse, the Speckler is one of the most important maps you should care about. It has the power to alter the look of your final handers a lot, so please pay attention to that.
doing some final cleaning. Trying to even out the ice area. Soften a bit the cheek area. And here you can see me turning on and off the enhancement layer. See the areas that are most affected by specular, nose, cheek, forehead, lips, and part of the ears. And that's pretty good already. So this would be our final specular map. Let's move on to the next video.